function, or relation? Ano nga bang pagkakaiba nito? Alright, it's me again, Hazel, and welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. So, for today's vlog, I am going to be your teacher. So, this one is a requested video by Jana Guzman. She's my former student from 10 Milky Way, and she said that she finds it difficult to answer or to determine what is the difference between a function and relation? So today, in this video, we're going to differentiate a function and a relation. So without so much further ado, let's go ahead and get started! To determine the difference of function and relation, let us first define what is a function and what is relation. So let us start with function. So, by definition, function is a relation where each element in the domain or the x values is paired to only one value in the range or the y values by some rule. It is a set of ordered pairs x, y such that no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y value. So, from the definition, we can consider a set of ordered pairs a function if each element in the domain or the x values is paired to only one value in the range or the x values. Now, uh, what is domain and range? So, when we talk about domain or the x values, if we're going to talk about the Cartesian plane, um, it is just the horizontal values or the values in the x-axis in the Cartesian plane. While the range or the y values, it is just the set of values in the y-axis. It is a set of ordered pairs x, y such that no two ordered pairs. It is, let us highlight that, such that no two ordered pairs have the same x value. So, ibig sabihin, sa isang set of ordered pairs, wala dapat repetition or walang the same values sa uh, domain or sa x values. Okay, next. Let us define what is relation. A relation is a rule that relates values from a set of values called the domain to a set of values called the range. It can also be a set of ordered pairs. So, when we talk about relation, it is just the set of values from the domain to the range. There are ways to express function or relation. So, let us talk first about mapping. So, what is mapping? Mapping is just assigning the domain to the to the range. For example, in layman's term, uh, kukuha tayo ng example real life. Okay. So, when we talk about mapping, it is just assigning something to another thing. Um, alam nyo ba yung matching type? So, sa matching type question, yung item, imamatch mo sa letters. That is also an example of mapping. In terms of a, a partner, for example, itong si Psyduck, ia-assign natin na maging partner itong si Pinky Pink. Klaro? So, therefore, map ito silang dalawa. Klaro? <laughs> okay. So, in terms of mapping, a uh, function can be identified if every domain or input is paired exactly with one range or output. So, I have here uh, an illustration of relation and function. 
sa relation, we have the domain uh, which are 1, 2, and 3. So, and then the range, we have 5, 2, and 4. Observe that the domain here is repeated. So, minap natin, inassign natin si 1 na maging uh, partner si 5. And then si 1, partner din ulit si 2. And then si 2, partner si 4. And then si 3, partner ulit si 4. Next, sa function, ang domain natin is si 1, 2, and 3. And yung range natin is si 5, 2, and 4. Now, if we're going to map them or if we're going to assign partners to them, 1 is paired with 5, 2 is paired with 2, and 3 is paired with 4. Observe that in mapping, ang sa relation, umulit si domain 1 para maging partner si 5 and 2 respectively. Well, sa function, walang umulit sa domain. Are we clear? <laughs> so, in terms of mapping, dapat walang uh, the same in terms of the domain. Klaro? Masasabi nating function ang isang um, ang isang pair ang isang set of pairs if walang repetition ng assigning of pairs sa domain. Klaro? Well, sa, um, well, sa relation, may repetition in terms of the domain. Now, next, the set of ordered pairs. In ordered pairs, a function can be identified if the axis abscissa or the x values are all unique. So, ma-determine natin ang isang function in terms of ordered pair kung lahat ng x values are unique. Okay. Observe here sa relation, we have a set of ordered pairs. We have 1, 2, negative 1, 4, 5, negative 3, 1, 3, 0, negative 2. Okay. Observe that sa relation, 1, yung sa x value, nag-repeat si 1. Therefore, we can say this one is a relation. While sa function, we have this one, 5, 3, 4, 2, 1, 3, 0, 0, 6, negative 2. Observe that yung values sa domain natin or sa values sa x natin, hindi siya nag-repeat. So, therefore, this one, these uh, values in x are all unique. Walang the same, walang repetition. So, therefore, we can consider a set of ordered pairs a function if walang repetition in terms of the x values. Okay. Next, sa table of values. In the table of values, a function can be identified if the abscissa or the x values are all unique. X values in the, cord, in the Cartesian plane or in the x-axis is also called abscissa. While the, the values in the um, x uh, in the y-axis is also called y-coordinate. Okay. Now, when we talk about abscissa, it is just the fx values. Iba lang yung pagkatawag niya. So, don't be in intimidated if sinabing abscissa, huh? Ano yun? Ano ang abscissa? Abscissa are just the x values. So, in terms of relation, we have the values of x. We have 1, 2, 3, 1, 5. While in the y, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Observe that sa relation, nag-repeat si 1 again. So, in terms of relation, nag-repeat ulit si 1. So, relation yan siya. 
Now, in terms of function, observe that the value of x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, while the values in y is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Observe that sa values ng x, all unique. The values are all unique. So, therefore, masasabi natin na we can consider a set of pairs a function if yung values or yung values sa absisa are all unique. Next, graphing. Let us talk about graphing. In graphing, a graph represents a function if and only if each vertical line intersects the graph at most once. So, masasabi natin na ang isang graph, a function, if if we draw vertical lines, magi intersect lang siya sa isang point. So, for example, this one. Dito sa relation, we have this graph. Observe that if you're going to put vertical line, it intersects sa two points. We have these two points. Okay? Now, if we're going to have a graph of a function, if we're going to draw vertical lines, yan, and then yan, observe that nagi intersect lang siya sa isang point lang. So, therefore, if we're going in terms of graphing, we can consider a graph a function if it an intersects to only one point. Ibig sabihin, yung x values niya are all unique. Now, in terms of equation. In an equation, a function can be identified if there is a y variable even in the absence of the x variable. So, in terms of equation, masasabi natin that an equation is a function if there is y variable in the equation. So, let, let us have some illustration or example in this one. Sa relation, observe that there is no y variable in our equation. We have x equals to negative 4x plus 3. Wala siyang y variable. Once a function, there is y variable. We have y equals 3x plus 4 and y equals 9. Masasabi natin na ang isang equation, a function, if there is a y variable. Now, question. Is this relation or a function? We have the domain 1, 2, 3 and the range 5, 2, and 4. Is this a function or relation? I will give you 5 seconds to answer this question. 3, 2, 1. Okay. So, the answer is it is a function. Why? Because when we map, sa mapping, 1 is paired with 5, 2 is paired with 5, 3 is paired with 4. Yung value sa domain, walang repetition of x. Oh, so that's it. I hope you did learn something. And thank you for watching. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!